Goose is in position. I repeat, in position. What's up everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to our channel. Today is the long awaited master bedroom tour. We're gonna walk you through everything that we have in our room, every item, where we got it, the inspiration behind it, why we chose what we did and where we placed it, etc. Yes, we will be linking every product that we're showing today in the description below, along with um, more affordable options or other links if things are sold out or not available. So everything that you wanna know will be down there. If something wasn't answered, feel free to leave us a comment. Yeah or shoot us a DM. And this is the start of our new home series where we're gonna be walking you through each room one at a time, even down to things like our pantry and kitchen cabinets. So it'll be like over time, we'll show you each and every room throughout our house and yes. uh, what we have in those rooms. Exactly, so uh, we're just kind of breaking out the house tour into separate rooms so we can give you a really detailed close up of everything. And we'll do obviously a full home tour at some point. Yes. So if you are new to our channel and just stumbling across this video, I'm Julia. This I'm is Hunter. Hunter. We are married. We live in Dallas. Um, we have a full lifestyle channel. So we do tons of vlogs, yep. travel, home decor, beauty, fashion, all the things. Yep. If you aren't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe and follow along with our journey. Like this video, share the video. We'd love your support. And we are about to do Vlogmas coming up. So you're gonna get us for 25 days. Um, and if you're home decor junkie watching this, we have tons of home decor. Shop with us at home goods, vintage, home decor, styling, all sorts of stuff. So you can check out all of those videos. Pretty wide range of stuff. Pretty wide range, yeah. yeah we love it. And we also have a fixer upper that we are about to be redoing right. next year. So stay tuned for all of that stuff. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, Let's a lot just... coming your way. Without further ado, let's jump into the walkthrough. We're going to show you our master bedroom, our bathroom, as well as our closet. So let's jump into the video. First things first, we just want to get across our paint color because we get so many questions, so many questions about that. So our whole house is a paint color by PPG and it's called Early, Early evening. evening. We'll put it here on the screen. Early Evening by PPG. Take you know, a picture of this right now. So our whole forget. house yeah. is this color on every yes. wall in the house except our YouTube studio. It's all PPG. Yes early evening and then the paint color on the cabinets when we go into the bathroom is also by ppg and it's called shark yeah and it's the same paint that's in our kitchen cabinets as well exactly so now we'll get into the tour Alrighty, so we are going to start outside of the bedroom this is the little like nook area that we have actually you know now that i'm here it'd be really cute we did a little light fixture here makes it like a foyer um but we just have some art i'm here. really worried about what this whole thing's going to be like because i feel like it's going to be us showing you our house and as we're doing so julie's going to want to be like oh the by the way that I here's want. what i want coming exactly. soon here's what i've already ordered here's what i'm gonna, gonna order <laughs> so what you're seeing now there'll probably be a change up in like i don't know it'll probably be like a bedroom tour update in like oh yeah i already have like a new vision for all the updates hey, that time I want. Out. Our oh hold on we have a package very difficult i don't know you are. Okay, so yeah, as Julia said, this is the nook that leads into our master bedroom. Tell them about your creation. So if you watch vlog week, you know that um, I created this nook during vlog week. And uh, basically just got some artwork from Home Goods. These are all Home Goods, and I just uh, hung them in a straight line. And they're kind of like shadow boxes. Let's get a little closer. Yeah, if you, if you take a peek a little bit closer, you can see a bunch of different lines yeah. on the pencil marks on the wall <laughs> well they're like you know they've got little like earthy items in there which i really like stones and rings and things like that just adds like a little earthy vibe so yeah that's it and then we have a little wooden stump right, right there, there. it's, it's actually made out of like a, a tree trunk and it's carved out of there so it's really heavy yeah i really like the stump i don't know what we're gonna do with it but um yeah you know I, I have a vision now that we're here i, st <laughs> I still feel like this nook needs some work and i do think a little chandelier would be cool Okay, let me tell you, I just had, I had the vision. Console table here, yep. like glass, mirror, yeah. light, we can move the stuff. We can put the stuff like, underneath that centered, and then have like yeah. plant. pump is just don't want it to get too, like too crowded, but yeah. yeah. I hear you. So let's head into where all the magic happens. Okay, oh, don't mess up the pillows! Boys. 
Okay, first things first, in the bedroom as you enter, you can see we walked in from this door right here. Walk in, you look to the right, and you come up on our dresser, dresser and our TV. This is like what we'd say is like the front of our whole bedroom. So the dresser is a key part of this room that we really wanted to spend a little bit more money yeah. on. We kind of like went more affordable on other things, but the dresser we knew needed to be like a nice piece that was like, it's such a big part of the room that we wanted to go a little bit more high end. So Hunter actually picked out the dresser. Yeah, they have a few different options and sizes. We wanted the longest size possible just to fill this wall as like quite long. Yeah. And so we wanted to fill as much of this room as possible. We both have a lot of clothes, so we needed the um, the space. longer one. It's from, drawers. sorry, we didn't mention it's from Restoration Hardware yeah. and it's their herringbone collection. And it comes in six drawers, but we got the nine. So you can get it in two different lengths. If you don't have um, a huge space, you can actually get it in a smaller size. I have seen an almost exact dupe for this at Nebraska Furniture Mart. So I will try and link that down below. It's um, a little bit more affordable version. And I will link affordable versions for everything that is a little bit more expensive in this video. Yeah, we'll link both pieces, the actual yeah. piece as well as like a dupe. This one, a lot of people last time we showed this on some kind of tour we did, people were asking, how, how do those drawers open? And there's no hardware on them. They're actually the push to open like the magnetic ones. So you push, it opens, and to close it, you just push it again, and it locks it up. I, we like the flush look without any handles. It looks super modern and cute. Restoration Hardware also has the nightstands that match this style. If you want to kind of get like the whole set or just the nightstands to have like a, a piece like this. Yeah, um, they, they have like do a have, full herringbone yeah, collection. You can do tables, tables yeah, nightstands. sideboards, nightstands, all that good stuff. Yes, so let's move into the details. All right, so um, I we definitely, I wish we had fresh flowers every week, but I did definitely buy them to like, you know, make everything look really nice and presentable for you guys. But sometimes we have flowers, not always, um, but they definitely add like a really cozy feeling to the bedroom and just makes it feel like more like a hotel or like more elevated. So definitely treat yourself to some flowers. I just got these at Trader Joe's. They were like 10 bucks, um, so it's not bad. Also, this huge candle, which is amazing. Hunter actually got this for me for my birthday this year. It is by the brand Le Labo, and it's their Santal 26 cent, and it's a huge candle. I think it burns for like 300 hours or something like that. It's a white concrete, and it's so pretty. It smells amazing. Definitely a more of a splurge item, but a really good gift for yourself or like um, if you buy a new house, it's definitely pricier, but worth it. And then this vase is actually um, a Joe Malone candle, like actually emptied out. So the candle burnt all the way and I just repurpose it as a vase. Um, so that's another good idea. And then this little vase, I actually just found at Home Goods recently. Kind of looks like Art Deco style. Okay, this little section. So we have our cable box here and I was trying to think of an easy way to kind of disguise it. So it's in the middle. So I just stacked a few big books. These, um, this is from Amazon. This one's from a discount bookstore. I'll link them below, but they're nice because they're super thick and they make like a good big statement. This is a little poetry book and then this little dish from Home Goods. This was $14.99. It's like a little marble dish, just kind of earthy. You know, you can throw rings in it and stuff like that. And then lastly over here is just a little um, sculpture piece that I got from Home Goods. It's super random. Um, and then this little tray that I keep like all of my fragrances on um, and I dump a lot of my jewelry in. Like at the end of the day, I wear a ton of jewelry. So I always am putting like my wedding ring or different like earrings on there and these little vintage boxes that I got from a vintage store. So um, the tray is also vintage, but any sort of gold tray or like little tray for your perfumes would work. I've seen things like this at Restoration Hardware and Arhaus and they're like $300, so $25 is really good. And it kind of gives like a European farm home type of feeling, like kind of French. I'm surprised no one's created like a cable box that I looks know. like a book. Totally. Like, Cause you can make it where like it's a vertical. If you wanted to like line books up, it just kind of goes with your your decor or like on a shelf. That's genius. Especially for like living rooms. I know. Like a lot of people have like maybe some books on their mantle or like I below know. their TV or something like that. Just a good way to disguise it. And we've tried to do that here, but it'd be cool to see someone like put like a fake book cover around it or something like that. That'd be a great idea. 
Okay, next we have our knife stands. We talked about how Restoration Hardware does have some lookalikes to the dresser. This is Restoration Hardware, but it doesn't match our dresser. Uh, we got these at that Restoration Hardware outlet for fairly affordable. I think they're typically like a couple thousand dollars. We got them for like a few hundred dollars uh, when we lived in California and brought them back with us when we moved. But anyways, uh, it's just pretty basic. We like the longer width of our nightstands. And in terms of like what we have in our nightstands, it's two drawers, so we keep a few items in here. Yeah. We also keep our remote controls and stuff for our TV in our nightstands just to keep them off the countertop. Mm -hmm. On top of the nightstands, just a couple books, uh, like an architecture book, a couple books that I really like that are my favorite books. I also have this like little ceramic tray that at night when I'm going to bed, I can take my rings off and leave them on the tray. It's just kind of a, a place that I know that's where I keep them. And if I'm ever looking for them, that's where they typically are. Um, also have this candle. I think Julia got this at some point. Mm -hmm. um, not even sure the scent, but it's a nice like little addition just to have something burning in the evening. It's kind of like a guyish scent. It's by the brand Commodity. You can buy it at Sephora. We'll link it below. Okay, and lastly on our nightstands, we have two matching uh, geo lamps, and it's all actually like it all came together, but they're, they are separate pieces. You have the geode rock itself, and it sits on this stand, yeah. on the lamp stand. Do you want to show? Like, um, yeah, we can show how it sets up. So basically, it's just like a rock. Just the rock, and then, and then you have the actual stand itself. And you can put like something else there as well. Yeah. Uh, but the lamp came by itself, and then you have the geode rock that came by itself. And then you set it up however you need, oh. kind of based on how you want it to look. Anyways... The geode rock, the stand, it looks nice as like a natural element in our yeah, room. Yeah, like totally makes a statement. Yeah, and a lot of people ask where we got this. We can try to link it below, but the place that we bought it from is a boutique in California mm -hmm. called Super Simple. Um, they might be sold out. You might have to call if you want it, so we'll leave their information down below and you can get the shelf. And what I keep in here, keep a couple more books, keep some of my stuff that I use for editing videos in case I wanted to edit at night. Keep any other like additional trip like chargers or converters before I'm like going to Europe or something like that. Just te technology drawers. But let's be honest, like I think most guys are like this. I pretty much made these my junk drawers where I just have a bunch of crap inside. So give him a peek. Wait, Ella. This is the reality, you guys. We got, we just got, a disaster. We got remote controls, chargers, books. Charging stations old like prescriptions that I've had in the past. CBD drops. I got laptop charger for when we go to Europe. This is a good drawer though. I feel like there's some important things in here. I keep a lot of like pairs of sunglasses yeah. just for different occasions. Uh, any receipts. And I'm such a reader that I keep a, a reading light next to mine. Whatever. So I know Julie talks a lot about her long chargers that we have, the Amazon Basics uh, iPhone charger. What I actually do is I have them run through the back of the bed. And so instead of like reaching over to the nightstand, it's literally right here on the bed, both my iPhone charger as well as my laptop charger. Perfect. And they're coming through, they're like stuck right here. I don't know if you can see that little hole. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they stay right there all the time. I never unplug these. I actually have separate chargers that I take with me when I travel. But yeah, just kind of like a slight life hack, but also something that I've done ever since we moved to this house. So good. Okay, let's move on. So we want to talk about the mirrors and the artwork. Okay, so moving just like up and over and then we'll end up like kind of at the bed. So these mirrors here, we got the layout inspiration from Restoration Hardware. It's our, pretty much our favorite home decor store. And they set up a lot of their bedrooms with the two mirrors above the nightstand, something in the center. So we kind of took that layout as the inspiration. I feel like it looks really modern, clean, and nice. But their mirrors are really expensive. So we actually found these kind of like dupes for the RH mirrors on the website called One King's Lane. They have a ton of home decor and really nice stuff. And they just have a really uh, thin black like steel edging, which is exactly what we wanted. And they're perfect. So we mounted them above the nightstand. Hunter had to get someone to help him because they're really, really heavy. So heavy. Just fair warning, you have to have like the right equipment to get them into the wall and make yeah. sure that they stay there. Yes. Um, but they do add like the perfect look above the nightstands they and like the center of the whole room. Really the like modernizes it, makes yeah, it yeah. feel like elevated. Still not like super affordable, but they are more affordable than the Restoration Hardware ones. So, wait, moving to the artwork above the bed, yeah. which we kind at, of went at, back and forth. At first we were like unsure about. Yeah. Uh, we wanted something for sure like a little bit more modern there. And I think it is modern just because it's basically a shape. Yeah. Uh, we weren't necessarily happy with the frame at first. I wasn't sure about it, uh, but Julia taught me into it. And now, like, ever since it's been up, I really like it a lot. It looks so good. I think it's the perfect piece for above the bed. The colors are perfect. We wanted a little bit of black to kind of 
I don't know, add some like texture and depth to the room because yeah. we have so much white and beige and gray. Um, so it's kind of like a felt material, which gives it a little bit of an earthy vibe. We love earthy. It bring it brings the flavor of like the room down a notch. It does. But it makes it, it more cozy. Yeah, if we ever switched it up at some point, if we ever wanted to make our whole house more modern, that would be one piece that we'd probably get something a lot more Yeah, modern. more like a glass piece with yeah. like, you know, a metal frame or yeah, something like that. Exactly. So that's an easy switch to kind of change the vibe of the room. But right now we love that. For having and, the pompous grass and like yeah. having the way the room is now, it's perfect. And it's so hard to find big pieces of artwork that are also neutral. So we found this at Pottery Barn and we're obsessed. The wood frame is like actually perfect. It ties in perfectly, excuse you to like everything else in the room. So we love it. Let's move over to the other side of the bed and let's take a dive into Julia's nightstand. Okay, so my nightstand, I'll be really quick, but uh, same lamp, little pink flowers here, and then this diffuser that I've been in love with from Amazon. It's super big, really affordable. I'll link it below for you guys, but I've been putting different essential oils in it at night and I'll like set it right when I get in bed and it's such a mood. Like, I don't know why I didn't do an essential oil sooner. Um, so in here I have like a book that I haven't read and this is the oil that I'm burning right now. The scent Fraser Fur, which is a really popular holiday scent. And I found the essential oil, I've been burning that, but I'll also do like lavender or something super calming. Okay, so that's that. I also keep like some melatonin gummies in here and some chapstick and that's kind of it. So um, I actually keep some of my active wear in these drawers because I need the space and I find that I don't end up shoving too much crap in my nightstand. So these cords, I always love talking about these. Um, if you've watched some of our Amazon videos before, you guys will already know about these, but these are 10, or sorry, these are seven foot iPhone charging cords from Amazon. They're by their Amazon Basics line and they're like $12. And we have a literally, like normally when you buy off-brand iPhone chargers, they break or they don't work, but these Amazon Basics ones, they work so well. They're just as good as like real cords and you can get them in pink. I have, a Hunter has like a gray one and they're only $12. They last forever. I've had this for three years and it's never broken. I have 10 foot ones. Like, we, we, have, we have like, I don't know, 12 of these throughout the house. Oh my, I travel with these. They're essential when you travel. It's nice because you never know where the outlets are when you travel. Exactly. And so... It could be far from the bed. I don't know. It just, just, it's just like super helpful. It's like a life hack. You need it. Yep. So I just kind of keep it like here or like in the corner and I keep it plugged in. I never move this charger. It's always here. That's like the worst feeling. When yeah. you go to your nightstand, you get in bed and your charger's gone because you had to pull it. I just never even touch it. Okay, to the left of my nightstand is our famous pompous grass that we get lots of questions about. Everyone loves pompous grass. They're really into it. So these big stems I actually got at Pure One and they are about 10 bucks each or so. They're eight feet, which it's really hard to find pompous grass that are super tall or anywhere at all. Um, and this vase we also get questions about is from West Elm. We've actually had this for probably five years now. It used to be charcoal gray and that just did not go with the aesthetic. So we spray painted it white, just like a pure ultra white. And that's what we got in there. So yeah, kind of adds like a little earthy bohemian vibe. And again, you could easily switch up the plant if you want to change the aesthetic of the room. And that's goose. And that's goose. Okay, so moving on to the rest of the room. The rug is from Overstock and it's the perfect neutral rug. It has a little bit of like silver glisten in it. And Didn't it basically, we find this somewhere else and then found it a dupe we, at Overstock? Yeah, we saw it in store at Nebraska Furniture yeah. Mart and then we found it like it's online on Amazon, on Overstock. We found a larger size for this room. I think yeah. the one we saw at Nebraska was, was like a size. smaller, yeah. Yeah, and um, it's just such a good neutral. I don't know rug. if I can see it. it has like the little sparkles in it. Can yeah. You, can you see on camera? No. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, yeah. But it's kind of like a cool little like extra added. Just adds like a little. Yeah, a little glisten. Yeah, I like it. It's not like doesn't make it too earthy feeling. Um, and then this bench we are sitting on is actually from Target. It's a perfect little edge of the bed yeah. bench. And I love the acrylic siding because if this was wood, I just feel like it'd be too, too much, much wood. Yeah. 
in this room. So you really want to make sure you're mixing your materials. You want to mix metals, woods, um, acrylics, linens, like different textures yeah, and glass. layer them. Yeah. yeah. What, uh, what's the material on the bench? It's velvet, velvet. white, white velvet. Noah's kind of made this his bench. Yes. A lot of times when we sleep, it gets hot if he's up here. So we push him down and he'll end up sleeping on the bench. So. And a lot of people ask if we let the dog um, sleep on our bed and we go back and forth on this. Yeah. We try to not let him on the bed, but then every time we say we're not going to let him on the bed, he's just like so cute. We can't help it. And I, I feel like if either one of us are out of town, we for sure let him oh, on the bed. Definitely. Like he's all But we've tried to make it where he only sleeps on this uh, throw versus yeah. like our actual linens and like bed material. Yeah. He never goes like inside. Like we make him sit on the foot of the bed and we always, we wash our bedding like once a week. Yeah. Um, so just to keep it clean, we keep his paws really clean. We always rinse him off before he comes back inside. So you just got to do your best. It's kind of high maintenance situation if you want your dog to sit on the bed with you, but but lastly is all of our bedding. So here's the bedding breakdown. Um, this huge blanket with the jumbo pom-poms is like one of our favorite pieces and the most asked about. This is actually a wedding gift yeah. we got, but it's from a store called La Viva Home. And um, it's a very pricey blanket. And it's also like a popular style. Like yeah, you can is. find these at, I think, Restoration right. Hardware, mm -hmm. yeah. Arhaus. Um, a lot of places have this. I'm sure there's one like on Overstock. There's a lot of dupes, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll link some good dupes below or some alternate options, but I just feel like it really makes a statement. But you want to mix the high and low. So we, um, I have like a little muslin cloth type of blanket underneath. It just adds like a nice layer in yeah. white. This is from H&M Home. This is actually my favorite addition to the bed. It adds like that linen texture that just makes your home look like more fresh. Totally. And I feel like layering blankets like really elevates it. It makes it feel like a hotel bed, you yeah, know, totally. and it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Yeah. So, um, and then our satin or a chateen bedding in this satin. gray don't get confused <laughs> is from um zara home and it's just like this nice beige color and we have a duvet insert we just get our duvet insert from like amazon costco, or costco yeah. yeah same with our pillow inserts we got some questions about that recently so pillows our bed is full of pillows julia has a pillow Different. obsession i swear I, every, I really every every week i see her like shopping online like looking at pillows online i have a really bad obsession with pillows we should show, I'm going to put a picture here on the screen of all of the pillows I have. I don't have anywhere to put them. It's yeah, insane. Yeah, one day we had the cleaning ladies come and we had a bunch of pillows in an extra room in one of our guest bedrooms. And they put all the pillows on the bed and it covered the entire bed. They like set them up like this, but it came all the way up. <sighs> but anyways, we got a lot of pillows. Some of them are very cheap to add depth to the bed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she said all of our inserts are from Costco. Very affordable and really comfortable. Okay, so just in order, these are from TJ Maxx. They might still be available online. I will link them if they are. These little guys are from Amazon. They are, I believe, 12 by 12 or 14 by 14. I can't remember. I'll link them below. Super affordable, just kind of like a velvet texture, and they come in so many colors. So I just stack three of those, two in the front, and then behind here we have our... Just normal sized pillows with the Zara matching pillowcases on them. And then two king size pillows just stacked here. Um, and that's kind of how we do that little setup. All right, the bed is like a super important part of your whole entire bedroom. Yes. It kind of makes the look of your bedroom, not only just a master, totally. but like every room throughout your house, every guest bedroom. The bed is super important just to yes. like be like the statement because it is essentially the biggest piece in your whole room. It is. So because we spent a little bit more money on our dresser, we had to try and save a little bit here. Yep. And I wanted this like white bed from Restoration Hardware. It looks almost identical to this one, but this was kind of like in a more affordable version. I searched high and low on the internet and I love this bed. It is from Amazon or Overstock. You can get it on both websites. And it's around seven hundred dollars. Not which bad at all for a bed. For a bed is affordable. I know for some people that might not be super affordable, but it is compared to super expensive beds. Yeah, so, especially for the quality. Like, yeah, we love it. It's, I it's love an amazing it. bed. It's simple. We've had a ton of friends get this bed since yes. we've gotten it. It's like so many. It's, it's a great bed. I and know. It's, it's really sturdy. Shut for, up. Oh my god. It, it's it's a really great solid bed, and it has like a really good like found like the bottom of it's like nice, like the base and everything. Is just yeah, like we haven't gotten sick of it. No. I never am like, oh, I want a new bed. It's just yeah. so plain and perfect, like such a blank palette, no matter what your style is. 
and it kind of has like a linen-y feeling cover over the um, headboard, but it's such a good bed. Yeah. I would recommend it to anybody. I love it. You so, may yeah. ask us what mattress we have. We have different mattresses in every bedroom yeah. and they're all different. I think mattress, Julia says it all the time, mattresses are like super personal. They are. And everyone likes something different. Everyone needs different support. Yes. Don't get what we have. Just like go find one that's comfortable for you. I feel like you can't recommend mattresses because you can try, but everyone likes different things for mattresses. So, yeah. anyways. One thing to note, actually, if you're ever at a hotel and you love the bed, mm. just look at the mattress and see what it is. A lot, I always a lot do of that. hotels have like a hotel collection. Yeah. Like I know, I think my parents, they're at the Bellagio in Vegas. Yeah. And they love their bed and they looked at it and it's actually like a Bellagio brand. Like their own line. Their own bedding line. And so my parents ended up buying a Bellagio mattress and they, they love it. Yeah, that's such a big guy. Okay, quickly, um, we'll just touch on our curtains. Curtains are so hard because they are so expensive and we wanted to save on the drapery. So these are from Ikea. I forget the name of them off the top of my head. I'll link the ones below, but they are 118 inches, which is key um, for tall windows. And our little black simple rod is from Overstock. So that's that. This little um, full-length mirror is just from Ikea. Really simple, very modern, basic mirror. Okay, so for the light fixture, we have this chandelier in the room. It actually came with the house, so we didn't choose it. We didn't pick it out. We do like it, and we know a lot of y'all like it as well. Um, we almost feel that it doesn't fit this room. We might move it to another room at some point mm -hmm. and replace this with something more modern, but it is a great light fixture that we'll keep on our house, whether we keep it in here or another room. Yeah, and I think if you have like a super um, farm home, farmhouse style home, this is really cute. Um, so it's yeah. kind of like French farmy. I, I actually think it'd be cool if we added it to our back porch. I feel like it could be like a really unique like um, patina element to totally. a backyard, like modern backyard feel. It's really so cute. So maybe like our back porch with like some modern furniture, which we'll update at some point. I do like it. All right, let's dive on into the master bathroom. Master bathroom and closet. There's nothing too exciting about a master bathroom. No, it's really simple. It's like actually. pretty simple, um, not necessarily basic, but just simple in terms of like, we try to keep most stuff off the counters. It gets like cluttered so fast. It's yeah. like makeup and products and toothpaste and crap like that. So it's pretty simple. I feel like we actually need, I would like it to be more decorated, but baby steps. Yeah. Like at some point we'll want to add some shelves and stuff to the room. Yeah. But let's go ahead and walk through like what yeah. we do have in here and then uh, so we'll this, move on to the closet. This is our double vanity. This is my side and Julia's side is over there. This is my side. If you're someone who's been watching our channel for a while, you've probably seen us in the bathroom a few times doing like different routine videos, stuff like that. But as you know, this is Julia's side of the vanity. This is mine over here. Mine's usually cleaner than Julia's side. Not true. Though. Okay. Yeah. Mine's usually cleaner from like a... Uh, no marks and stuff, but no. I usually, yes, you, I usually have more clutter. You're a toothpaste clutter. monster. I know. I have more clutter, you have more toothpaste, because you, for some reason when Hunter washes his face and brushes his teeth, it splatters everywhere. everywhere. All over. And I'm like a clean toothbrusher. But I feel like I wipe myself down, I, I keep the inside of my sink clean. Yours is usually like messy, you keep like... Yeah, my sink is not the cleanest, yeah, yeah it's not good. But anyway, our goal is to have it where we don't have a ton of stuff on the counter just to make it look a little bit more clean and minimalist. Um, However, catch us on a regular day. There's toothbrushes out, cologne, Covered. crap ton of Julia's makeup products, um, oh, razors, yes. brushes, eye creams, moisturizers, like all the good all stuff. The things. But when we are cleaning up our room and cleaning up everything, we typically like clean the countertop completely off, remove yeah. everything except like a little tray like this. So yeah, this tray always stays up there. Um, some little roses in here. I when we went to um, Paris, they had roses in the bathroom, just like literally one or two roses and it just added like such a cute little like freshness to, yeah, the, it, to it, the bathroom. Yeah, it does put off like a little smell too. And like it's just it. like nice. And then um, this vase I'm pretty sure is from Crate and Barrel so I'll link it and we just keep Q-tips in here. And that's kind of it. This is like a little sage thing but yeah. really easy. The basket's also from Crate and Barrel. And these little hand towels that we have are also from Crate and Barrel. We have um, just like a beige color solid one and then this little like waffle textured one on top. So I'll link those too. 
Moving on to our bathtub, we have, we don't really keep a ton of products over here, just like some of like the necessities, and if ever Julia's taking a bath, we don't, honestly, we don't take a ton of baths. Like, I mean, like, I feel like we start to more in the winter time because it gets really cold out, and it's like kind of a nice ritual at night to like warm up. Yeah. I, might I usually get really cold. I might take in the winter maybe like less. one every three or four weeks, maybe. I do one a week probably in the winter. Yeah. And I just also find time to wind down. I guess. Yeah, it's like good for like stress or anxiety. Like it's a good relaxation. So I started taking more as soon as we moved into this house. Yeah, but having like a good oil to put in your bathtub or something yeah. like that makes it that much more pleasing and just relaxing. So I just keep bath salts, some face masks, um, bubble bath soap, just like some things for the bath specifically that I use when I take baths. And then this little plant here, just a little olive plant, um, that base is vintage and the olive branches are from a local store here in the DFW, so I can't link those either. But I'll try to link some olive branches in the description. These shades are called Roman blinds and they, again, like other drapery, are so expensive. I mean, talking thousands of dollars on Restoration Hardware and other like drapery sites. So I actually sourced these off of Etsy. It's um, a woman that makes them like handmade and they're way more affordable than buying them from like a drapery store. And you give her your exact dimensions, you pick the linens and everything and she will custom make them for you. So I love these and just, we got a true white linen texture material. You can raise them and lower them but they're perfect for like these types of windows and they give like a little bit of more of a modern feel. Also, we just have a little towel rack here. I would prefer these to be like a textured or more like a deeper color like gray or black. I can't find the exact towels yet, but I want to change them out and then I want to put shelves above here, but we just haven't gone to that yet. So that's the next project. Moving to the shower. Well, as Julia said, we keep towels over there. We don't touch those towels. We don't use those for They're just to look good. I, them before and I got my hands locked. <laughs> but we usually throw our towel, whatever we're using, like over the shower. Uh, but when we clean our house or have people over, we just remove them all together. Um, in the shower, I take a lot of showers. I take at least like a shower one a day. Yeah. Uh, usually in the mornings. Shower whore. Um, or if I had like a long day and I just want to wind down, I'll hop in the shower and just like cool off a bit. We have a ton of different products in here. I would say 98% of them are Julia's. I probably have like a face wash and maybe like a shampoo or something in there that's mine. Everything else is Julia's. I use some of her products as well, but we kind of keep them organized over to the left-hand side. Um, our shower is very basic, honestly. There's yeah. nothing too exciting about it. White marble, stainless steel, chrome, yeah. that's it. Yeah, it's sometimes hard keeping this clean through this glass. I don't I know. know how people do it. Yeah. This is just like a very basic rug from Costco. Like a bath mat. Yeah, it's just like yeah. a bath mat. We have one here and we also have the same exact one in front of our toilet in the bathroom behind right. the camera. And then <laughs> this one here is one that is actually, it's an outdoor rug. Yes, um, which is good for like durability and like yeah, yeah. high like traffic spaces. Yeah, yeah, traffic through here because we're always walking from our bedroom into the closet and back and forth. As you can see when we're in here showering or just in the bathroom, Noah's in here. Yeah. Uh, so it's just like a hardier rug. We like that it was like thinner, but it was like the perfect size. And it's like cream and gray. And honestly, like it has not even gotten dirty. Like, I mean, yeah. we usually are just barefoot on it, but like it's the perfect size. And I like the color. It's just yeah. super neutral. I actually found this one. You did actually, yeah. yeah it really it really worked out nicely. I don't think this is intended to be a bathroom mat at all. No, it it's, perfectly in this case. it's perfect. Um, and he is so cute. Lastly, moving on to our closet, as you can see, like our, our the way that our bathroom and bedroom is set up, it all kind of flows, so it goes bedroom, bathroom, and closet. And I would say that's pretty standard and typical for a lot of houses that are built like this. Um, this is my side of the closet, and that side is Julia's. I have a few different racks over here, and Julia also has like a lot of her like long, longer pieces used over here. So this is Julia's, everything else is mine on this side, and then from here over essentially is all of Julia's stuff. One thing we do keep in here are some like smaller luggage pieces. Um, it's like old bags, if like there's like some purse bags, I have a couple like nicer pairs of shoes where I've kept the bags and boxes, old backpacks, stuff like that. But we keep our larger suitcases, like the large um, checked bags. We yeah. keep them in our garage or other closets just to get them out of the way. So I'll show you my side of the closet. Um, basically this closet is kind of a shit show. Um, so I'm a little embarrassed to show it, but you know, I don't think most people's closet looks perfectly organized. So this is how it looks most of the time. I wish it was more like, organized and complete but it's just not um so 
If you're just stumbling across this video, we actually do so much fashion content. I do a lot of fashion content. So there are clothes always moving in and out of here. I'm constantly donating, selling clothes. Um, I sell a lot on Poshmark because you guys love to shop the pieces. So I'll link my Poshmark down below and I'm always adding new things to that just to make sure that this is like staying current. But uh, yeah, it definitely needs to be more organized. It's just kind of thrown in there shoes i've got sweaters sweats um tops jeans and then here is where i keep all of my jackets and i have bags up on the top around here and then if you move to this side this is all of hunter's stuff he doesn't really have a method for his because he's a guy he doesn't care um and i had to use this space for like all of my long hangs so for like my my long dress pants dresses um like hoodie dresses which I wear a ton of and longer things like that so definitely probably need to work on organizing this a bit better it's kind of like what I find the hardest thing is to organize accessories that's like the hardest thing for me to figure out how to like keep in check and like make look aesthetic it's definitely the toughest so okay so when you come out of the closet no one probably really cares about this but this is where like the toilet is just if you're wondering where it was in the bathroom and there's just some cabinets in here and this is where this is where we keep all of our towels um i have like tampons and toilet paper down there more towels up here so it's just like more storage space that's it everybody okay thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it first video in the home tour series um next i think is living room and the studio and then the other rooms will be to follow yeah, so. and we actually have a before and after renovation video coming out of the full renovation of the studio itself and the backyard as well we as just backyard. redid our backyard as well so yep. if you're a new backyard inspo stay tuned if you want lots more home decor um until then we have vlogged everything so go look at our old vlogs and you can see so much much home decor to satisfy you. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Leave us a comment saying hello if you're new. Let us know your name, yes. how you found us. Maybe it was through this video or something else, but super glad that you're here. Hope you feel inspired enough to subscribe and follow along with our journey. We'd love to have you, but uh, appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.